Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hope you're all are doing fine. All are doing good. Hey, this is going to be the official start of this new fort on the Steam version. It's going to be a new fort. It's going to be a new set of stories, characters, all that fun stuff. So uh, let's have some fun tonight. Let's make a cool fort. You know, let's piss off some elves and all that jazz. Strike the earth. I am Armok and I demand blood. I will be taking on name suggestions this stream as I do usually on a Dwarf Fortress theme. Did you see there's a Z level transparency mod to see more clearly? Really? I'm just gonna pretend it's fog, right? <laughs> Let's see. The Land of Omen. Lena Oroni. Oh, I love this theme. I've listened to this theme for so many hours and I never get sick of it. There's these crazy diminished chords in this song that just. It really serenades the ears. You know, here is the map. We are hostile to goblins, but not always. We also have elves over here, which it's not going to take long until we uh, <clears throat> get acquainted. <laughs> here we go. We got a place right here. Check this out. Looks pretty good. Let's uh, embark upon this place. There's a system in the game where the animals produce offspring and uh, you can milk. <laughs> You can milk these animals for milk and make cheese. I know about this. There's a gorilla mod on the Steam Workshop where uh, there's milkable gorillas, but I didn't want to do that. Okay, so no. We're going to assign somebody with a crossbow because I know for a fact that there might be some dangerous shit in here. And uh, I do not trust that my army of battle axe swinging amateurs will go into battle and not have their heads decapitated. So instead, I'm going to entrust that one of these guys become an impromptu military person, learn a little bit of crossbow training and go, tum, 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 tum. you know, it's going to be the expedition leader, by the way. So uh, this will be what the hell? <laughs> what the hell is this? Hmm. I think I've encountered a bug. Let's just embark you. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of... Phillies, me. <laughs> a new chapter of Dwarven history begins here at this place. Amkolhol. <laughs> wonderful name. Amkolhol. Oh, that's wonderful. That is the prophesized one. In the meantime, let's make these dwarfs into some familiar names. This expedition leader is going to be... It's going to be Gert Tractor. Now we're going to move on and we're going to have this guy. That's actually the expedition leader. Okay, I accidentally shafted you out of jail. I think I was selecting this guy instead. I'm sorry. Well, it is what it is. Anyway, this is going to be Fenhelm. That is you. You're the expedition leader. We can blame you in case everything goes wrong. You have a forgotten beast here. Uh, destroy us. So, Saffron Chef. Because you know what? I thought it was appropriate that you be the cook here. So there we go. So these guys are going to get some fruit over here and hopefully there's no scary alligators by the river. So if there is, uh, too bad. <laughs> okay. Yes, we're going to make a stockpile over here because uh, this game needs a refuse stockpile. You see corpses here, right? We need to make a custom one because we know not only need corpses activated, we also need refuse activated. These are, of course, just your like muscle shells and your random bones as well as children's corpses. All put in a pile that's eco-friendly. <laughs> so there we go. You think I'm joking about that either, but uh, I really am not. This game gets quite morbid. Oh, we have a we have a little boingy booth. Look at that. Uh, hang on. We have a giant alligator. Oh my god, a giant alligator. Amos Moses, be damned. Good lord. Uh, hey, who's that little man? It's a hamster. I kind of want to already start walling myself off from the world, but early on, I'd like to have the the local fauna get a taste of blood so they know what's up. Oh, we have an alligator woman and an alligator man. They are a little too close for comfort right now. Can we milk the alligator woman? Now, I know you guys are like strange, but alligators lay eggs. <laughs> Yes, and milk alligator man. Someone said graphics look like RimWorld. <laughs> Wait, hang on, hang on, wait a minute. How was this discovered? D but I... Wait, slow down. What? I mean, Joey's a little confused by this. Right? Yeah, we went over here, right? Let me go down. Actually, I did do that just fine. I was just being a little confused by it. Started doing that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I think this is going to be where we start digging really deep, you know? Um... Not too deep. Let's do the old classic, right? Let's do the old classic, because the classic has always worked. If you don't know what the, the classic refers to, it's essentially when you build this, you have a door here, a bed here, a chest, or a, like a 
container here. And that's all the dwarves need. They don't need much more unless they're like of noble blood. And then they start demanding really outrageous shit like, I want my entire gold made in chestnuts. And then you boil that fucker in lava because he won't shut the hell up. You know, these uh, these alligators and whatnot, uh, I'm pretty happy that they haven't attacked us yet. We seem to live in a peaceful coexistence, you know? I will say one thing, though, that I'm gonna piss people off with. I didn't round the corners. My god, guys, I'm slipping. How can I possibly have a OCD fort without that? Come on, man. <laughs> Nothing dangerous so far, you know, these giant alligators haven't bitten me to death, so that's that's good. You know you're an old Dwarf Fortress player when it's clearly fucking represented on screen what it is. I press K to view, okay? I'm like, what is that stone? Press K. Ugh, I know what it is already, my god. I have to learn the new ways this game works, all right? It's not ASCII, my god. <laughs> oh, the corners. Oh my god, look at this. Oh no, this is pissing me off. Oh what oh guys, we gotta we gotta fix this now. We have to fix this now. We have to make this room much more elaborative because uh Joy fucked up. <laughs> 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 gotta restart. Gotta restart, man. And look at this little bungy boof. Little hamster, look at that. Oh, what the fuck? I should that is that is not cool to do. I just made a carpenter's workshop out of stone. Disgusting. Disgusting! This is usually where we capture an elf alive, put him in a cage, put him around water here, or by crocodiles chained up by iron. And then the dwarves around, eating on a table here, could laugh at the dwarf until it dies. Can we make the Fort Vine sauce theme? Absolutely, we can squeeze in a mushroom or something. <laughs> Joe, can you explain what I'm looking at? There are no bearded smiley faces or letters <laughs> anywhere. Have you ever built a library? Yes, I have built several libraries in the, in the game. Library. You think you get another Chad child that will bite the giant animals in the stream? You know what? It's always possible. It's always possible. Dwarf Fortress Children knows no fear. I mean, they know fear and they might vomit when they see the sun, but... <laughs> you know. Good so far. Let's check our, on our units here. Uh, we got a, a raven. A giant sponge. Jesus Christ, how terrifying. Okay, well, uh, as long as you don't suck me in. Did you ever have a favorite fortress? Uh... I had one, yes, because uh, when I play this game initially, you don't you don't forget your first fort because you're like, oh my god, I'm so good at this. And then the goblins came, you know, for your first time playing this game. And I remember being so proud of it. I'm being so proud. I'm like, holy shit, I'm playing Dwarf Fortress. I'm so smart. And not really. <laughs> you know, I was pr so proud of it. And I was heartbroken by the fact that they all died. Because you, you almost get very personal with the dwarves in this game. It's such an elaborative game, right? So when you see this, like, when they start having children, and they start forming relationships with each other. You know, I feel really sad when it goes to shit, you know, and I never forgot that. I never forgot that. A leather worker. Hey, what are you doing? You have no beard. You are so crazy. <laughs> what the hell? You have a chicken as a pet. He's an elf. He's not an elf. What are you talking about? <laughs> he is bad with words and he's developed empathy. Oh, we got a pig. We got a little pig here. Hey, what are you guys so spooked about, huh? Oh my god! I'm a gag man. He has great musical sense and a way with words. But he has poor creativity and poor spatial senses. So he is the greatest shred monkey known to man, but he cannot play any of it because he doesn't feel like being inspired. That's funny. Oh, we do have children! Hey, we have a pest. Hey, there's even more people coming in. Okay. That little monkey man stole my rope. Oh no, he can have it too. This person is gonna go make the farmer's workshop now, and what's so great about this, ladies and gentlemen, is now we are gonna make some milk. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna milk an animal. We're gonna see the amazing task that is milking a cow. Oh, you guys are gonna be amazed. You guys are gonna be amazed. Gelding, by the way, if you don't know what this ability is, that's when you uh, chop nuts off. Okay, yeah. This is when you castrate an animal. <laughs> I'm gonna call this job deer milkers. <laughs> You guys want to see real-time progress, what milking a cow looks like? Yeah. It's really fascinating. Okay, watch this, watch this, watch this. It's gonna be so cool. So, let's see, here's brewing plants. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, Potato is the one milking the animal. Okay. You're gonna milk the pig? You're gonna milk the pig. You're gonna milk the pig. Who wants some milk milk? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's disgusting. Who wants some pig cheese? There we go. Is very happy. Okay, but here we go. We got some decent, decent milk because snow sausage is now going to milk the cow. Okay, here comes the cow. Oh, yo, yo, that was quick. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and the kangaroo buck is fighting. What is going on here? What the fuck? Yeah. I wasn't fighting with one of my own. The kangaroo buck's lower body takes the full force of the impact, bruising the muscle and bruising the guts. The kangaroo buck left hand takes the full force of the impact and part splits into gore. What the fuck happened here? Who are you fighting against? Seriously injured. He is shaken after a major injury. What the fuck happened? Did you jump too high? What happened? Oh, well, we have some s several of kangaroos. Wait, there's a fight between them. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. Seriously injured. Thank Armok that uh, the world has been giving us infinite wood. So nobody will ever get mad if I ch cut down every single wood here. You know, <laughs> infinite resources. Uh, alert. Oh yeah, my God, I totally forgot about that. Oh my god, I forgot the trade depot. <laughs> Amateur mistake. Carp has given birth to carp fry. <laughs> okay. You like the music? It's very ambient, but it's it's very good. It's very good. I, okay, this child is a dabbling milker. <laughs> I wish I was a dabbling milker. We'll make some thrones and um, table. Oh, my asthma! My asthma! My asthma! I fucking told you guys, we have a specific spot for dealing with this. And for some reason, they have not done it. Look, corpse and refuse. Okay. Someone's got the French cheese down there now. Uh, let's see here. We have body parts. <laughs> you guys want some mussel shells? They're really good. Cranberry biscuits. Pig cheese biscuits. You know what? Why not? Why not? You want some pig cheese biscuits? They're really good. They're really good. They were made by children. All right. I know that usually means that they're going to be garbage, but it, it, it has, you know, it's a kinder surprise because kinder means children and surprise means pig cheese. So it's going to be really nice. Dwarven kinder surprise. It's culture flavor. All right, we have a jewelers workshop. I'm going to we're going to cut some gems. On repeat and you can make some bone crafts that's right my favorite pastime making muscle dildos that's right ladies and gentlemen these dwarves and their their fantastic hands is gonna make the greatest <laughs> the greatest of all time can I make an elf prison where we stinky my asthma in there so they suffer more yes yes we are doing that in fact this should be the elf prison right here we just put the elf prisoners down here Sunflower Vodka, you are a skilled liar, my friend. <laughs> you are such a good liar. Oh my god, you lie so good. Listen, you and I are gonna fuck them. All right, these, these stupid dwarfs gonna come here and we're gonna fucking take their shit and we're gonna say, no, it's worth a million. And they're gonna be like, this shit is sand. And we go, yes, but it is nice sand. And they, okay, buddy, I will buy sand. Get him to lie to an elf and sell him a wooden bed and call it stone. This Reese's macaque man just died. But I have a bigger question, everybody. You see, I had 17 dwarves in this fortress. Now, why is there 15 dwarves? Oh, guys, the... <laughs> Okay, first of all, something funny just happened. The traders that visited my fortress. The flying bronze bolt strikes the Reese's macaque man in the left foot, fracturing the bone. The flying strikes this Reese's macaque in the right foot, fracturing the bone. A ligament has been torn, antenna has been torn. Death, this is truly terrifying. Gruesome wound, begone in fear. This is funny. Okay, let's see how they fuck this, this guy up. The hammer dwarf bashes the Reese's macaque in their upper arm with this bronze war hammer, bruising the muscle. The hammer dwarf bashes the Reese's macaque man in the head with this bronze war hammer, Bruising the muscle, jamming the skull through the brain, and tearing the brain. Death is all around us. I feel very uneasy. So easily broken. They go on fear. That's the macaque man. <laughs> we're going to start doing this. And I'm going to assign everybody on the gem cutter shit. And we're going to cut gems and gems and gems. We're going to cut gems and gems and gems. We're going to cut gems and gems and gems. We're gonna cut gems, cause that makes us rich, cause we ain't no silly elf bitch. We're the Dwarf Fortress guys, and we like to dance. Uh, 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 I go into a weird 
strange mood trance. I make a bed. I make a chest. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where this is going. <laughs> okay, put that on the album. Man. Do the warrior man. Holy shit, guys! You have struck Peter Lucite. Guys, that's fucking Peter Lucite. Holy shit, dicks! Peter Lucite. I have no idea what Peter Lucite is. <laughs> Do you think it's too early to start a smelting industry? You think so? Nah, maybe. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I don't think so, Batman. I'm, like, I'm, com I'm combining Willem Dafoe and, like, the Joker. Spider-Man. Batman. Puma-Man. Oh, fuck. Saffron Chef has been missing for a week. Oh, that's what it was. Jesus. Saffron. Something happened to Saffron Chef. The poison sockets. That's what it is. That's what I'm channeling. Don't forget to shut off the poison sockets. Was he dragged down into the abyss? Was he dragged down to the abyss by the creepy... By the creepy giant uh, slug. Fuck are you guys doing? Guys, go back to your home. What the fuck are you waiting for? Just chill out. I guess they were spooked by the macaque man, but... Alright. Triangle hat. That is you, my friend. Art is life. You know what we are going to be making, guys? We are going to be making some of that stinky, classic, good old bone. Uh, where is it? Uh, no, I'm fucking, I was thinking, I was thinking of the bone goblet, okay? No, 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 you can't even do that. Uh, <laughs> bone cheese. Shh. No, 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 you can't do that right. Uh, <laughs> Out of a skull. Now, it's some craft you can do, right? Uh, statues? No, no, but, but I'm making statues. Stop it. No, 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 no. We don't want to make crafts like that, though. We want to make mugs. Uh, and this child is going to be... Crimps! At you, Crimps! Well, uh, I'm going to save. I'm going to call it uh, Vinefort Steam 1. So, I hope you've been... It's been very chill and mild here for the first hour, which, you know, we only had a uh, macaque man fuck around, but, uh, you know, hey, 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 hey. We will be back here with more Dwarf Fortress coming up, so don't go nowhere. Complete global lactation. Shit!